Live from the Big Beefy Man Cave in New Bedford, Massachusetts. This is the YouTube channel vlog show in which video games, flash game show gameplays, along with sports and wrestling news, are the norm. This is the YouTube channel vlog show of positivity, good times, and fun. This is Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. And now, here is the host of the show, the perpetrator of these shenanigans, Big Beefy E himself, Mr. Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, for that lovely intro once again. Live from, that's right, this is my Big Beefy Man Cave, and I am in New Bedford, Massachusetts. It's me. Eric Lima, a.k.a. Big Beefy E. You're watching Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. This is episode number 78. I want to give a shout out to Jerome Latimer for um, inspiring me to play a little bit of Ninja Baseball Batman uh, yesterday. He says uh, he says it's quite trippy and a cool game. And all I know is I wish it comes out for the Switch as an arcade archive. And I mean, the only game I rem... Pulled out for the RK archives was Kid Nicky Radical Ninja. Let's 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 see if I can get an, get a petition to bug Nintendo about putting out more arcade archives, man. Or, or trying to get a ColecoVision collection going for the, for the Nintendo Switch. That'd be really co cool and awesome. But for right now, <laughs> and have like the uh, they had ColecoVision play, like the games that come out for ColecoVision. It's for Don for the Donkey Kong series. Only you want. Unless you want to put that in there. Like, get Mr. Do, get the arcade version of Mr. Do, get the Clickle Vision of Mr. Do, or the arcade version. We already got the arcade version of Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. Get the Clickle Vision version of them. Venture, Mousetrap, come on. Come on, Nintendo. Work with us here, people. Okay? <laughs> well, this is episode number 78 of Eric Lehman Shenanigans of 1977. And yes, this is the fifth installment of Martindale Mondays, as you know. Honoring Wink Martindale, one of one of the uh, game show game show hosting legends, he hosted this game show Tic Tac Toe, and then after the '85 season, uh, Jim Caldwell took over for the final season of Tic Tac Toe for the series finale, and then and we don't want to talk about the Patrick Wayne version or the Tom Bergeron version uh, version. So, but however, because it you know those two versions gave me emotional damage. <laughs> Anyways. We're going to have a little bit of fun here. You know how this works. 20-round battle against that mean dragon. And I don't mean Ricky Steamboat or Bruce Lee, folks. He may be a green monster, but it's not the, the wall at Fenway Park in Boston, Massachusetts. We're talking about that dragon in the middle. All I do is avoid him or get money amounts and tick and tack. And I win. Simple as that. Okay, so the dragon comes up. I lose. Don't pick the number. So we don't want to find him. We're going to shuffle everything up right now. Round one's about to begin. Let's get to it, folks. All right. Uh, number five. We'll start it off there in the center. And that's not how we want to start things off, do we? Man, I suck. That's a good way. <laughs> I suck already. I suck already. It's one, one to nothing. Dragon. Emotional damage. <laughs> so the dragon barely even moved from that position. Where was everything else? Ah, seven and nine would be the numbers I picked. All right, let's go. Let's shuffle everything up. We're in round two. Let's see if we can do better this time. Let's try number six. T 250, that's pretty good. Let's go to number nine. Tack, let's try number seven. 500, let's go number five. 400, yes! There you go. 400. 400, and it's a Super Mario game. One up. Okay, one, two, three, four, eight. Which number was not so great? Ah, number two, little deuce. I want to give a shout out to a new subscriber, Derek Butler. Uh, I believe he's a friend of mine. He used to uh, be the district manager for Ruby Tuesday at one point, and well, now I see my. He's going to see my shenanigans here. So, Derek, welcome to the show. Welcome, welcome to my new YouTube channel. All right, round two's been complete. As you know, Dragon was behind number two. Let's go shuffle these numbers up again. Shuffle these information. All the elements have been covered up. Dragon's found a place to hide. We'll go to round three. Let's try number three for round three. All righty then. That is not... <laughs> that is, okay, it is the Super Mario Underground. One, two. Or two to one. And it's... Or, or a two to one second le uh, second level game. All right, let's find out where was everything else. 
Ah, four and five. Tack and tick, respectively. Round four. Let's see if we can get, get this thing a Chuck Woolery game here. Let's go round four. Let's go four. Three hundred dollars. Let's try number nine. A hundred more. That's four hundred dollars. Let's try number seven. Five hundred dollars. Let's try number five. Does it give me anything? And I did it. Wow. Here we go. It's a Chuck Woolery game, folks. Two and two, ladies and gentlemen. Chuck Woolery there. Okay. A little Chuck Woolery. All right. Once again, one, two, three, six, eight. Which number was not so great? It will be number six that had the green monster. Don't mean the wall at Fenway Park. But tack behind one, tick behind three. It's all good. All right. Let's go to round five. Let's see. If, all right. Everything's about a place to hide. Let's go to round five. Let's go to number five. Hopefully he's not there again. Nope. A hundred dollars. That's good. Let's try number seven. Tack. Let's try number nine. Take it. I got it. There you go. There you go. Round five. It's over and done. Three to two. Very, very good. All right. Uh, I have to do the rhyme again. One, two, three, four, six, eight. Which number was not so great? It was numero uno to hell the mean monster. Everything else was money. Including number five. Let's shuffle everything up once again. We'll go to round six. Ladies and gentlemen, round six. Okay. If I did this on a live chat, I'd be asking the chat for some numbers, but I'm not doing it on a live chat. All right, number six, let's go. Tick. Number nine. Oh, that's not, that is not the way to go. Well, it's a Super Mario World Moon game. Three up. All right, it's all three apiece. All righty then, where was Tack? It's got to be high number four, I think. Nope, number eight. Double the four. So I would have, so, so I missed, uh. I missed it by one number. All right, let's go. Round seven. Is seven a lucky number? Let's find out on both ends. Tack, let's try number nine. $500. Let's try number five. Oh, no. Seven was not a lucky number this time. For round number seven, it's four to three. The dragon is back up on top. But let's see. which. Okay, which number was great? One, two, three, four, six, eight. Which number was great? It. Well, oh, I would have went up to number... Four instead of five again. All right, let's go. Round eight. Round eight. Let's go. Let's go number eight. Tack. Let's go number nine. Next door. Man. Man, I'm doing awful here, folks. Five to three, man. Not cool, Al. All righty then. Emotional damage. <laughs> uh, just rape. All right, what was the tick? Could have gone up instead of down, instead of to the down right. And I should have gone up center when the tick was behind number five. Those of y'all keeping score at home. All right, let's go. Round number nine. We're going to do some catching up. Speaking of nine, let's go to number nine. $300. Better than a dragon. Let's go to number four. Okay, uh, 550. Plus five is nine, so we're going to go five. Tick, let's go to number seven. $100. Hmm. Could number eight have attack? No! This is not cool, guys. It's six to three. It's six to three. Come on, Eric. You're like, you're like, okay, which number would have been... Okay, one, two, three, six. Which number would have been a good fix? Oh, I was thinking of number one, but I did not go that route. I went down number eight. Okay, round ten. We'll be halfway there. Round ten will be halfway there. Let's go to number six and start it off. Tick, let's go to number four plus ten. Tack it! Ah, that's how you do it. 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 A little math wouldn't is no problem there. Six plus four is ten. Okay, one, two, three, five, seven, nine, eight, nine. Which number was not so fine? And ah, see, 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 see. You had it. I had to know, right? I had to know. Five held the mean monster. Very good. All the other numbers at one, two, three, seven, eight, nine had money. All right, round eleven. I'm gonna do some catching up. Let's try n number nine. Five hundred dollars plus two is eleven. One fifty. Hmm. Seven plus four is eleven. Oh. And ladies and gentlemen, it's seven to four. It's seven to four. But where was the tick? Number three, all the way to the top corner there, right here, number three. All right, round 12, come on. Come on, we got to bounce back here. Let's try number five. Five plus seven is 12. This 
is not my day today. This is not my day in this game. Let me tell you. Eight to four. This is emotional damage. <laughs> this is not cool, man. One, two, three, four, six, eight, and nine. Which numbers were so fine? Oh, I could have gone eight and nine. Unbelievable. Alrighty then. It is round 13. Let's try six. Plus seven is 13. Okay, um, nine plus four is 13. We'll try nine first and... <laughs> you know? You know, one of these days, I will get it right. I will get everything right in my life. I am not picking numbers very well. Nine to four, man. Okay, what was behind number four? Let's see. Uh, okay, tack and tick. One and five, respectively. Uh, five hunt Number two would have helped me get me to victory. Instead, number nine, I foolishly picked that, and there's a dragon. All right, nine to four. I'm going to try to catch up here. It's time to go on a winning streak. This type of game is tough. Okay, it is, was it 14? Let's try number five. a loser <laughs> oh my gosh that's a radio game 10-4 everything else one and six boy I suck at this game all right shuffle everything up it's round number 15 i gotta do some catching up i need to number three 100 let's go number five is eight okay uh seven is 15 250 let's try number one 400, and I gotta win, finally. Oh, my goodness. 10 to 5. Time to get back on, time to get on a winning streak. I need to catch up so I can play a tiebreaker here. 2, 4, 6, 8, or 9, which number was not so fine. Number 6 had the dragon. 2 was tack. 4 was tick. All right, here we go. Okay, we're going to round 16. Number 5. Plus, uh, let's see, 5, okay, 11, 5 plus 11 is 6, so we're going to go for, um, let's go to 4 first, okay, 5 plus 11, we need to add 9, 500 plus 2 is 11, there we go, tick, let's try number 4, 300 and another win, 10, 6, 10 to 6, ladies and gentlemen, very, very good. Good numbers I picked. Okay, then. Um, tack, where were you? Number, oh, I would have picked number six. I didn't trust number six at first because now the dragon is behind number three. Round 17. Let's get to it. Let's go. Do some catching up here. Round 17. Let's try. Let's see. What numbers add up to 17? And we're going to do I'm gonna do it that right. Um, let's see. 11 plus six. Okay, let's try number four first. 400, four for four. Let's try seven. 500. Let's play plus six is... Yes, indeed. Another win streak. Another win. 10 to 7. 10 to 7. Looking good. All right, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, and 9. Which number was not so fine? It would be number 5 once again. Tack and tick, 1 and 8, respectively. Let's go to round 18. Here we go. I need to do some catching up. One slip up, and the dragon wins this round. Uh, number 4. $100. All right, it's round 18, so I got four. Okay, 14. What number add up to 14? Let's go to number five in the middle. All right, well, number nine, 800, number 400. Yes, indeed. Pick the right numbers, and I've been doing it. Pick the right numbers. That's all I got to do is a little math. A little math does help going right, 10 to 8. One thing game shows require is a lot of great math. So if you don't know your math, you're screwed. In game shows, man. One, two, three, six, seven. Um, one, two, three, six, seven, eight. Which number was not so great? Numero eight. One and six for tick and tack, respectively. Round number nineteen. All right. I'm on a roll. Round number nineteen. Okay, we're gonna add. Let's see. I'm gonna go eleven plus eight again. So let's try number seven first. Four hundred plus four is eleven. No, and the dragon wins this bout. No, round number 19, excuse me. So, 
no matter what happens here in round 20, Dragon has won this one. All right. Let's find out where Tick and Tech were. <sighs> Eight and nine. Unbelievable. Round 20. Round 20. Let's see. Let's go. Okay. Uh, let's go number nine. Tack. Let's go number one. It's ten. Okay. Um, all right. Three. Five hundred. Seven. And nine hundred. Let's go to five in the middle. Tick and I did it. Well, had I not flubbed up on that one, 11 to 9 is the final score. All right, so 11 to 9. All right, so they win this round. So, that's a sad, sad, sad day. But before we conclude the video, and before we end it here, and we've done very, very well, so, and I would uh, ask, where was the dragon? Because 2468, who do we not do not appreciate? Little twos, little deuce, little two, top center, there it is. 400 behind four, 300 behind eight, and 100 behind number six. But I picked the right numbers on the board. And 5 and 9 had taken attack, respectively. So, that's all the time we have on this episode of Eric Lee Machine Shenanigans of 1977. Until the next episode, please, Mr. Announcer, take us home. That is all for today's episode. This is Mr. Lima speaking for Eric Lee Machine Shenanigans of 1977. A big, beefy E. Do it for Bob Saget Production. And in association with... A sweet, bumbling bofo raver telepictures and distribution. See you next episode, and have a very blessed day.